Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install pro press fittings like these using a hydraulic manual press tool. Just like when soldering, proper pipe preparation is crucial. The first step is to cleanly cut the pipe square using either a tubing cutter or a fine toothed saw. I like this mini tubing cutter I have as it fits in tight spaces. A freshly cut pipe edge will always have some sharp edges that can damage the o-ring and the pro press fittings. I'm removing these using an inner outer tubing reamer, which helps clean up the edge of the pipe. With these inner outer reamers, one end has blades that ream the inside of the pipe and the other end is designed for the outside. I like these because they're two tools in one and super convenient. To ensure a good seal, it's important to remove any paint, corrosion, or scale from the outside of the pipe. If you only have a little bit of oxidation, you can use a wire brush like this one, but if you're removing heavy paint or scale, you can use sand cloth. Now that the pipe is clean and shiny, we're ready to install the Pro Press fitting. For this demonstration, I'm going to be installing this half inch Pro Press male adapter. First, inspect the fitting to make sure the o ring is in good condition, then, press the fitting onto the pipe as far as it will go. Sometimes it's helpful to give the fitting a gentle twist, but you should never force it if it doesn't go in easily. Next, use a permanent marker and mark the edge of the fitting. This will alert you in case the fitting slips out during pressing and prevents defective joints. Now we're ready to press. Start by installing the correct size jaw onto your press tool and make sure the oil return valve is completely closed. Now you can open the press jaws by squeezing the plastic coated handles and clamp the jaw over the fitting. The fitting has a ridge that lines up with the grooves on the press jaw to ensure good alignment. Now you can simply pump the handles to press the fitting. This tool works by having a hydraulic pump inside. When you pump the handles, hydraulic fluid, which is a type of oil, is forced into a cylinder which presses the two jaws together with an immense amount of force. This ensures a permanent leak-free connection. When the two halves of the press jaw are touching each other, you know that you've finished the joint. Never rely simply on handle pressure to determine when to stop pumping. Instead, look at the jaws. When the two halves are touching, you know you're done. You can look at the jaws either between the pipe and the tool's body or at the far end of the jaws, whichever is more convenient to determine when the two halves are touching. Once you know that they are, you can then open the oil release valve and this releases the pressure so you can open the jaws by giving them a squeeze. Here is the completed connection. Make sure that that marker line is at the edge of the press fitting and double check that the o-ring ridge has been pressed down a little. There should also be these flat indents on both sides of the ridge. These are what hold the fitting in place. Also make sure the fitting is smooth with no sharp edges. If this is your first time using pro press fittings, I recommend pressing together a male adapter, a piece of pipe, and an end cap, and then screwing that into a female hose thread to female pipe thread adapter. This lets you pressure test your assembly to make sure that the tools and fitting are working correctly before using them on a real project. I really like this IBOSAD HT-1950 hydraulic copper press tool. I'll have a link to it and all the other tools used in the video description. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you all next time.